This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Full Sail University. So how exactly does Mother Google make its cheddar? Well, it comes down to both scale and relevancy. Now, before we get into the more recent leaks regarding the LG G5, let's talk about Google's 31 billion. Oracle is engaged in a protracted lawsuit against Google over its alleged infringement in Android over two of Oracle's Java-related patents. In a hearing last week, Oracle's counsel claimed that Google not only makes money off Android, it does so on a large scale, to the tune of $31 billion in revenue and $22 billion in profit since 2008. On January 20th, following the original claims, Google urged a San Francisco federal judge to redact portions of the public transcript claiming that Oracle's lawyer leaked out, quote, extremely sensitive information. Now let's just remember that because Oracle is seeking compensation from Google, it's in Oracle's best interest to quote their revenue and profit at a very high level. But that does beg the question, how does Google make so much money off Android? Google makes money from the ads that are displayed when users search via one of its apps, like YouTube, Google Maps, Drive, Gmail, or Google's many other apps and services. Google shows ads in some of these services, but it also analyzes user data to improve the relevancy of its ads it serves in other places. And because every phone user has to sign in with their unique account when setting up a phone, the data is both accurate and highly personal. And thanks to an exclusive tip from Shai Mizrachi, we have another update regarding the LG G5. First, we can reveal that the rumors of the departure from the tried and true tested G-series design is actually true with our diagram revealing that the G5 will be thinner, taller, and wider than the current G series flagships. While the volume button does move to the side, the power button looks to be retained on the rear beneath the camera and will seemingly feature a fingerprint scanner, like we've seen on the latest Nexus handsets. And good news for those of you waiting for the Xiaomi Mi 5. Xiaomi's senior VP has taken to Weibo to let us know that the company's spring conference is set to take place on February 24th. While there is no direct statement from the company, we can all assume that this is about the Xiaomi Mi 5, at least partly. The event is set to last a couple of hours, so we might see other products to hit the stage. Well, it looks like the king of streaming music is turning to video. Back in May, Spotify announced that it would be moving beyond music to offer video content too, in the form of music videos, podcasts, and content created by a selection of partners. According to the Wall Street Journal, Spotify will finally launch its video content service through its Android app later this week, with iOS to follow the week after. I know, you're thinking score, Android first this time. Video content will land in the US, UK, Germany, and Sweden initially. We don't know exactly what video content will be included in the Android app until Spotify makes an official announcement, but the report states that the current content mostly consists of short clips seeming to focus on contextually relevant videos in order to engage users that are just accustomed to leaving the app on in the background to listen to music. You know, it's become a bit of a cliche now. People learn how to create an app, but don't learn how to distribute it and get it in the hands of the people who actually want it. That's where Full Sail is gonna be a big help. With the Mobile Development Undergraduate Degree Program, you'll learn how to both create and distribute apps. And if you're ready to advance your development skills, check out the Mobile Gaming Graduate Program. Students receive a MacBook, industry software, plus iOS and Android devices. And if you're ready to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu forward slash authority. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right up here on Twitter. You also don't want to forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.